Hi everyone, Lisa here and welcome to day two of Shop Your Wardrobe Challenge, which is all about contrast. And um, this is something that the longer I work in this business, the more I realise how important contrast is to getting your outfits just absolutely spot on. This is kind of like the icing on the cake, if you like, about how to um, put your outfits together. So in this little short video, I'm just hopefully explain to you um, in a way that you will be able to replicate what I'm talking about. So here goes. I'm going to show you a photograph of me. A photograph of me wearing um, a pink top. So this kind of soft pink that I'm wearing here, up until fairly recently, this kind of colour was too soft and muted for me. I really, really liked it, but it was just something that just was a little bit too washed out for me. When my hair was quite dark, when my hair was quite vibrant, when my hair is quite colourful, this pale muted sort of medium pink colour would just wash me out and not be a great colour on me. However, I wear this now and I get absolutely, every time I wear it, I get loads of compliments about the colour and how much it suits me. So I'm just going to show you why. So my hair of obs is um, quite light and grey now. Um, depending on, I put semi-permanent colours on it and it, uh, I can change it whenever I feel like, but a, a lot of the time it's sort of quite light and grey like it is at the moment. So I'm just going to show you the same photograph, but in black and white. And what's important for you to look at here is sort of the, the levels of my natural contrast. So where my hair used to be really dark and now it's sort of medium lighter and my skin. And this pink top is sort of in harmony with my natural levels of contrast. The only thing that's really dark on here is my specs. So one of the reasons why I get loads of compliments when I wear that pink, apart from it being absolutely one of my colours, um, it's because the tonal contrast level is spot on for me. So I'm going to show you another picture. So this is a picture of me with my magenta on my hair, which I do quite often. And then it fades to a pale pink and then back to grey. But you can see here on this picture, I've got much stronger colours on. Um, when my hair now is grey, if I don't have any colour on, then this blue dress, this scarf, which is one of my absolute favourites and the purple, is a little bit too strong for me. And it dominates my um, levels of colouring unless I've got colour on my hair. And I'm going to show you. So again, I'll show you in black and white. And you can see here that my hair, because it's darker, matches the tonal contrast within my clothes. So I'll show you some other examples on other people as well here. So this lady here, you can see this yellow top, really, really bright and lovely, really nice and bright. And you think, oh, yeah, it's sort of it's, it's OK. It suits her. The only thing that's as light as this top on her, about her, is her teeth. And just tiny little bits of whites of her eyes. But if I show you in black and white, you can see very clearly that this area of lightness is dominating her natural colouring. And your eyes just keep getting drawn back to this yellow top rather than looking at her face. And what we want people to be doing is to always be looking at our faces, our triangle of communication, our eyes and our mouths. And this is where the portrait area is where we want people to be looking. We don't want our clothes to be wearing us. We don't want them to be taking over. We want people to be seeing seeing us. So if I show you the same lady with um, an orange top on this, so this is orange with a bit of a pink pattern on, which is tonally very, very similar to her natural colouring. So if I show you what I mean, I'll pop that into black and white. And you can absolutely see that you can't, it's almost identical in tonal value to her skin tone. And that is why it's such a good colour for her. So it looks bright. It looks sort of, um, uh, it still looks quite vibrant. If it picks out the colour in her cheeks, it picks out the colour in her lips. And it just really makes the focus of where you're noticing and what you're looking at is around her portrait area and it's because that tonal value is spot on. So 
bearing in this in mind, what I want you to think about is if you've got light tonal value, you've got light hair, not particularly light eyes and, and your skin, and your, your sort of your hair, your eyes and your skin, and there's not a lot of difference in your tonal contrast, then these kind of light colours are really going to suit you and really going to make you look amazing. If you've got dark colouring, these kind of colours will just look a bit off with you. So this is where it's about matching up your natural levels of tone to to your clothes and it just really is that icing on the cake so let me show you so this is more of a medium tone so same i've used the same sort of color theme of the pink and the and the beige but this is so if you're a little bit darker you've got medium blonde hair um medium skin tones then this is is where to go and then again a little bit darker um you can carry the sort of stronger colors and then if you've got really dark hair um and then and, and then this level of contrast looks great on you conversely this level of contrast will make somebody who's got blonde hair look like a floating head um so just start noticing your levels of contrast in your outfit so i've got a little experiment i'm showing you um before i finish so um this is me today um, and I want you to just focus on, let me move that so you can see a little bit better maybe. So I just want you to focus. So with me here in colour, this is me in my light, my medium and my dark. So my light, my medium and my dark. And obviously my glasses are dark as well. So when I put that into black and white, you can see that um, the, the glasses and the necklace are the darkness. My hair looks really light around the front today um, is my light and is matching the lightness and then the, the darker tones of my hair are picked up by the medium cardigan. Now, if I take my specs off and show you here, if I take my specs off, then all of a sudden it's really subtle, but your eyes are drawn to the necklace. So even in you can see when it's in black and white that the only real anything that's as dark as that necklace is my eyeliner so it's it's really this is a really subtle thing but it just means that your eyes just keep getting drawn back down to the black back down to the black back down to the black so without my glasses the black necklace is not a great thing to, for me to wear whereas with my glasses your eyes are sort of drawn around because you've got something to um the, the depth of color the tone is is on my face as well as around my neck so your eyes are drawn around so that's how subtle it can be so i'll just show you again and then i take the necklace off without my glasses and you can see the colors my eyes just all of a sudden appear a lot bluer um it's picking up the blue from my cardigan and the, the sort of the tonal level of tone there that medium and light level tone is just perfectly matched and harmonized with my natural coloring so this um, blue with the white is a perfect for me without my glasses with my hair light and so on so it's that subtle but you can just it's just about these little simple tip, tips and tricks where your eyes are drawn to um and how to wear color so that it best suits you so if you um want to read more about my what i do um and read blogs and things you can see some case studies on my website and here are the details of my website which is um lisa newport .com. and if you don't follow me already on my facebook business page then please hop over and do that i'd really appreciate the likes and the love so i hope that um helps you understand about contrast a little bit better if you've got any questions then please pop them in um the contrast thread group thank you contrast thread in the group thank you